So in front of us right now, we have one of our vehicle specific Red Arc dual battery kits. And this kit actually fits two different types of vehicles. So it fits the 120 series Prado, the old Prado, and it also fits the FJ Cruiser. So same bracket, just in a slightly different location. So I'm just gonna run through what's involved in the kit and how easy it is to install into your own 120 series Prado or FJ Cruiser. So firstly, the main brains of the unit is the Red Arc BCDC1225D. And that's installed on a laser cut stainless steel bracket, that's, which is vehicle specific. So it doesn't require any kind of drilling into the vehicle or any modification of the vehicle whatsoever. It utilizes existing Toyota mounting. So it's just a matter of undoing a bolt, mounting the bracket into position and reinserting the bolt in the Toyota mount. So one bolt already, and then there's an extra bolt in the kit, which utilizes an existing hole in the, in the um, Toyota bracketry. So firstly, the Red Arc BCDC 1225D is a three-in-one unit. It's, it's a three-stage battery charger while you're driving along. Um, it's a solar controller while you stop with green power priority. So if you've got permanent solar, it will actually take as much as it can from solar before the engine. And it's also an isolator, isolating your two batteries. So anything that you're running off your auxiliary battery can in no way flatten the start battery. So it's a great little unit. So we're just gonna run through, so this in both instances, this will be mounted in the front of the vehicle, in front of the radiator. So we'll just run through what is included in the harnesses and how to go about threading them each way. So we're gonna, we're gonna see two harnesses. One is slightly smaller or in diameter than the other, and that's gonna be our main battery. So that's the existing battery in the car that starts the vehicle. And these are labeled, so we've got main battery written on there. So that would thread over to the side of the vehicle with the main battery, and this would be connected to the main battery's positive and negative terminals. It also includes a high current MIDI fuse holder, so 40 amp fuse in there. Um, MIDI fuse holder being that it's actually screwed into position, the fuses, they're not pushing fuses for a way better connection, as Red Arc recommends using MIDI fuse holders on their units. So that will be threaded over to the main battery. The second part of the harness, slightly bigger because it incorporates the auxiliary battery charging as well as the solar. So the first part of the harness is much the same as the, auxiliary, as the main battery harness, but this one actually is labeled auxiliary battery. So we would go ahead and thread that to the other side of the vehicle, connect it to the auxiliary battery. And then another part of the harness is the Anderson plug, which is also labeled solar panel input. So that's where you can plug in any solar blanket or panel that you want to use while you're camping to keep your batteries charged. Plug it into this Anderson plug and the Red Arc does the rest. It does the battery management side of things. It becomes a solar regulator. And there's plenty of length on this because um, we've left that up to people's setup. So if you had a bull bar on the front of your vehicle and you wanted to mount the Anderson out of the bull bar so that you simply plug the solar and you don't have to pop the bonnet, you can do that. If you don't have a bull bar or you want the solar to be hidden away a bit more and you want it under the bonnet, there's plenty of length to mount it in beside the auxiliary battery or even leave it loose in there and just plug in, pop the bonnet when you start camping, plug in your solar and sit the bonnet back down. So that's basically what's included in the kit and how easy it is. When you purchase one of these kits, we do send you out digital instructions and video tutorials to aid with the installation of the kit and help you so you'll see me run through how to do simple things like taking out the plastic grill to get into the location where this will mount, how to route it, where I would route it, how to secure it with the cable ties. You'll see all of that in the video tutorial. So jump on the website, aussiedriftertouring.com, check out all the details and the photos of this kit and see how easy it is to install in your own vehicle.